Hello, welcome to Crypto Gaming's second commentary. Um, it's me again, I have no kidneys, and I'm bringing you a gameplay from Williston007. I'm not sure if he's a James Bond fanboy or wannabe spy, I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is a chem with four different weapons. He runs around picking up different weapons, beasting some noobs, and um, it's, it's a damn good gameplay. Um, so the four guns in question will be the Vector on your screen right now, the MTAR, which was at the very start of the video, where he, where he jump shot at those scrubs. Um, and also the FP6 and my favourite gun, the Ripper, because it is just gorgeous. Anyway, um, Wollister then goes on to get a 49 kill streak, which is damn impressive, especially seeing as though this chem is an assault chem as well. Um, I mean, Strike Zone is a good map to get Assault Chems on and Chems in generally. Um, and I can promise you here that there is no care package in question with this Chem. You will see all of it, I promise you. Um, so anyway, as you can see... Oh, FP6. Beautiful! So as you can see here, he's using um, Trinity Rocket, Griffin and Helo Pilot. Uh, but he doesn't use any kill streak until he's got the Chem sorted. Um, which I think is a wise way to go. I mean, if you get on that kill streak, you want to keep building it because the moment you lay down and call in one of those kill streaks, you know some guy's going to plod along and beast you in the balls or something like that. I have no idea. I mean, these guys are worth some damn bloody hemorrhoids. You'd be shitting blood for a week. Anyway, let's talk about um, the gameplay a little bit more then. I mean, the FP6, I mean, he only gets one kill, but... It's such an inconsistent shotgun. I mean, one minute you'll be destroying people from, you know, 10 yards, 12 yards. The next minute you're getting hit markers from three three meters out. It's, I just don't understand it. So it's always risky using that. So I can understand why he, when he, why he only got one kill with it because it's definitely a risk to use it due to its inconsistency. But the vector, obviously, is just powerful. Um, a lot of GB players use it because of, you know, it is just that good. Especially if you drop shot and jump shot, and you know most subs are. But the Vector has that power, as most of you already know. Let's be frank here. Same with the MTAR. I mean, he uses the red dot sight on it, which, you know, I'm not really too sure about. But he makes it look easy. It works. So that's what we can. Oh, wow, what a scrub. Thing is, this guy runs in front B, and thing is, the Vector has isn't suppressed, so you should be seeing that. So, hey-ho, on with the day. Um, so as I was saying, m with red dot sight and suppressor. Not my preferred choice, but it works for him. Fair dues. And there is the Ripper. The Beast. Not sure what it's got on. I think it's armor-piercing foregrip. Um, it's kind of just guessing. Um, it's definitely not extended mag, so i definitely say it'd be armor-piercing. If he's using anything else, then he's just daft. Um... Yeah, anyway, as, as you can see, I think he's now on a, yeah, 15, 15 kill streak. He gets on the sky bridge and you, you see that spawn in courtyard. And if I was here, I'd start cacking my spell, especially when you start getting hit at long range like that. So he takes a risk here and obviously he destroys this guy. Now, as I said last video, the Ripper is just such a beautiful gun. The recoil on it with foregrip is just non-existent. Um, I definitely recommend all of you picking it up and having a go with it. And even even if you've got no map packs, getting the second map pack just for the Ripper is almost worth it. It improves your game so much, um, especially if you're a, a run and gunner. And that's another thing I like about this cam is it's always moving, always running. It's, it's just a fast-paced cam, and myself, when I'm running around getting cams, I'm quite tactical. You know, I patrol certain areas, you know, I do wait for people to a certain extent, but Willister here just runs in, doesn't care, just destroys people. I mean, when he gets to 22, 23, you can see him going, oh, I'm close now, around this area. I mean, the ripper point blank just, it does, it rips people. Um, and yet he's getting close here. I think he's starting to panic. He's starting to panic! Now, let's wait for the next guy to come up. This is always horrible as well when you're on such a big streak and can't find it. But, ah, oh, there's the chem. 25, no hardline either. That is a very impressive chem. Very, very big fan of this. But this is only the start of the video. Well, I say start five minutes in. But now it starts to get even more interesting. 
So we skip ahead here to the Griffin. He's just called out his Helo Pilot. He's had his Trinity Rocket. And now he's destroying these guys with the Ripper. And when I call in this... Uh, destroying with the Griffin, sorry. Now when I call in the Griffin, it is useless. Um, there's a 40 kill streak. I mean, I'm firing at people. I'm just getting hit markers, hit markers. And then some guy with an M27 will just destroy it. Now when people use the Griffin against me, on the other hand, you put 50, 60, 70 bullets into it. And there is just... Nothing. No hit registration, anything, and they just destroy you. But it looks like Dan's quite good with this Griffin. I mean, he goes on, I think it's a 10 kill streak just with the Ripper. Um, and he sees a guy who's just spawned there and has a loot. But here's the end of the video. Um, I think he finishes 52 for 2. He finishes on a 49 kill streak in total, one off a 50 kill streak. Over 50 kills in one game. Um, so yeah, here's the gameplay. If you liked what you see, then obviously leave a like, subscribe, and if you've got any suggestions, drop a comment. I've been I Have No Kidneys. Peace out.